Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel CapTech Pro. In previous video, we have seen how to pre-provision OneDrive for users in our organization. Now on this video, we'll learn how to take access to someone else OneDrive. So guys, let's go to our lab environment. Okay friends, so now we have logged in with my global administrative account and, and you can see as of now we are on Microsoft 365 admin center. First of all, I will click on this navigation menu. I will now click on active users. Uh, in previous video guys, we have pre-provisioned OneDrive for these three users. Now I will click on user one name, display name. And here we have a OneDrive tile. Now friends, let's understand today's demonstration with one example. We have pre-provisioned OneDrive for these three users in my previous video. Now user one is on leave for another two months. Now user two wants to access data which is inside user one, OneDrive. So let's see if it's possible for user two to access the data inside user one or not. So first of all, I will click on create link to files. And now say for example on email, I have sent this particular OneDrive link user 2 can access the OneDrive of user 1 or not. So I will go to different browser and we will log in with the credentials of user 2. I will minimize this. Okay, so on different browser I have already logged in with the credentials of user 2. Now on a new tab I will paste the URL of user 1 OneDrive. You can see this is the OneDrive URL of user 1 and now I will press enter. So here you can see user Two will get a error message like access denied and user 2 captechpro.online does not have permission to access the resources. Now guys we want to give permissions to user 2 to access user 1 personal OneDrive. So how we can do this? Let's see. I will go back to my Microsoft 365 admin center now. Okay, so we are now back on Microsoft 365 admin center. I will close this. Now to give access to someone else OneDrive, we'll click on navigation menu. I will click on show all. I will go down and here I will open SharePoint admin center in new tab. Okay, now we are on SharePoint admin center. Now I will click on more features. And in more features, we have an option of user profiles. I will click on open. Now here in user profiles, I will click on the link manage user profiles. I will click on the link. Now here I will search for my user one. Okay. Now I will click on find. So now you can see our email address is user1 at the redcaptechpro.online and the preferred name is user1. So this is the account name. Now I will right click on it and now I will click on manage site collection owners. It will open the site collection owners tile. Now here you can see the primary site collection admin is user1 and the site collection administrators are global admin and user one himself. Now I want to give the access of OneDrive to user two. So here we will simply type user two and I will click on this check names. So you can see user two is now added as a site collection administrators and the site collection administrators are given full control over all websites in the site collection. And they may also receive site use confirmation mail. So it's asking to enter users separate by semicolon. So we have added the name. Now I will click on OK. Perfect. Now again, I will right click on the count name and I will click on manage site collection owners. Let's see if user two name is added or not. So now you can see in the site collection administrators, user two name is there. I will click on OK. I will close this. Basically by this way we have given the permission to user 2 to access user 1's one, OneDrive. Now again I will go back to my Microsoft 365 admin center. Now here I will click on user 1 profile. 
I will click on OneDrive. Okay, now in the get access to files, I will click on create link to files. I will copy this link. I will go to the different browser where we have logged in with the credentials of user 2. I will minimize this. Okay. So earlier we were getting the message of access denied. I will close this tab. I will click on new tab here. I will paste the URL of user 1 OneDrive and now I will press enter. So now you can see user 2 is able to access OneDrive of user 1. So now here you can see this is my user 2 and he can access the OneDrive of user 1. You can check this from the URL itself like personal and user 1 underscore captecro.online which means this OneDrive belongs to user 1. So friends by this way we can give access to someone else OneDrive. This is the best practice which we can perform to give access to someone else OneDrive. So guys that's it for this video demonstration. For more informative videos, you can check my other video links on the screen and subscribe my channel and press bell icon for more upcoming videos. I will see you guys in next video.